Hi, this is John Craig with Performance Plus Tennis, and in today's video, I'm gonna give you some great tips on how to come back after a long break from tennis. And if you stick around until the end of the video, we have a free gift for you that's gonna help you with every stroke in your game. So the first thing I'm gonna do is run you through a couple of warm-up exercises that are gonna help prepare you to play and greatly reduce your chances of getting an injury when you get back out on the court. So the first thing I want you to do is simply run the lines on your side of the court. So we're gonna have jogs, we're gonna have back pedals, and we're gonna have side skips as we move through the lines on the court to get you warmed up. The most important thing that I want you to do when you're performing your shadow strokes is to make them feel as real as possible. Imagine you're really playing the ball, envision yourself being a really high performance player, and really feel what you're doing. So get yourself started in a great ready position, and then move like you're playing the most important match in your life. Watching the ball coming in, watching it come into the contact point. Medium height forehand, conventional stance high contact forehand, open stance. Low backhand, slice. Top spin backhand, another slice. Keep playing. Envision yourself being a professional player and keep working it. Rhythm, balance, and imaginary timing on the ball. And keep doing this until you really get a short of breath, get really warmed up, and get a real feel for your strokes. And finally, we're ready to hit some balls. And what I want you to do is get out and just play mini tennis, have a partner who will cooperate with you, and just get a feel for your ball in mini tennis. Just controlling slow motion. And after you've done this for a couple of minutes, what you can do is do what I call my step back drill. So after every ball that I play, I'm gonna take a step back, and so will my partner. So we're gonna maintain ball control, and we're gonna keep gradually moving back. Keep the feet moving. Start picking up your rhythm and your timing. And before you know it, you'll be back to your baseline but you'll have ball control. If you drop the rally, you can start all over again and just pick it up. So now we can come forward again. We broke the rally, the rally broke down. We could start over and move up and just get a feel again and step back right away. And back to the baseline we are. And from here, just keep the ball control. My shot. Broken rally, we'll just keep it going. And the tempo of the ball will start to pick up naturally with your rhythm and your timing and your confidence. Shot. So 15 to 20 minutes of pure ball control. Let the tempo and the speed of the ball pick up gradually and naturally as you gain your confidence in your timing and your rhythm. So next up, we're gonna warm up the volleys and we're gonna follow a similar progression that we did on the ground strokes, beginning with a nice, comfortable, easy volley to volley drill. 
The goal here is to keep the ball up in the air and have a nice, easy, cooperative volley rally. Now, if you can't control it and you keep missing like I just did, what you can do when you receive the ball is you can set it, get control of it, play it back. Set it, get control, send it back. And you can see how this immediately slows everything down and establishes control. And then once I feel comfortable again, I can go back to playing the volley. You see that just by practicing and through the drill itself, the pace began to pick up because our confidence and our movements and our timing on the volleys improve. So you don't have to try to create power, especially in the volley. It'll come just through improved technique and timing. So next up in the progression, Randy's gonna to move to the baseline. I'm gonna stay at the net and we're gonna to try to establish good control with volley to ground stroke rally. I hope you really enjoyed this lesson today and that you'll benefit by taking these exercises and progressions to the court with you when you get started with your tennis again so that you get started the right way to avoid injury and optimize your performance. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn on your notifications, and leave your comments down below. And for your free gift, click on the link in the description below to gain access to our library of lessons that will help you reacquaint yourself with your game and help you improve your tennis. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.